Hello everyone. We begin with developing news on the deadly crash that killed a Corpus Christi police officer and seriously injured another. The Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission is investigating a Corpus Christi bar trying to figure out if the driver accused of killing Officer Alan McCollum got over served there. Our Seth Kovar joins us now live from Wonders Bar and uh, it's which is at Alameda and Airline and Seth, what is the TABC looking into exactly? Well, Katia, agents will look over surveillance video from the night when the wreck happened. They'll also look at receipts and other bank records, and they're going to talk to people who frequent this bar who may have witnessed what happened and people who work here at Wonders Bar. What they're trying to figure out is if the bar bartenders or servers sold too much alcohol to Brandon Portillo. He's accused of driving drunk back on January 31st and getting into a wreck on the Carroll Lane overpass of SPID. That wreck knocked Officer Alan McCollum off the overpass, killing him. A second officer was also hurt, but has since gotten out of the hospital. If TABC determines that the bar oversold Portillo, it could face a fine or even lose its liquor license. Under Texas law, alcohol retailers are required to prevent the service of alcohol to intoxicated people, primarily because of public safety risks such as DWI accidents or alcohol-involved assaults, things of that nature. Charges up to Class A misdemeanors are possible for any bartender or server who overserves someone only to have that person go on and get into a deadly wreck. I'm told that the Nueces County District Attorney's Office will make that call in this case. I called them today to see what's going on there. They did not call me back just yet. I also went inside Wonders here and spoke to the bartender on duty, but she told me she really is not supposed to say anything about this case. Reporting live in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.